what's good friends and family mr flip flop here with the video i promised you guys about building your confidence now first off people always ask me how is my confidence so high how do i how am i able to talk about confidence well one of my main i guess my handicaps in life was i had strong people around me um from my irish grandfather to my black grandmother from making georgia um i had strong people to look up to i had my father in my life to look up to so I always was surrounded by strong people. Now, also, if you know my story, I'm from Southside, Jamaica, Queens. Growing up in that environment in the height of the crack era, you had to be strong. You had to be a survivalist. You had to always keep your chin up no matter what the circumstances were because there was so much going on around you. You know what I'm saying? So my circumstances led me to have a lot of self-confidence. The people around me led me to have a lot of self-confidence. But I also met a lot of people that weren't confident all the time. And trust me, you can build confidence. Well, great. How do you know I can build confidence? How do you, how are you so sure I can build confidence? Well, guess what? I had about eight years of person, being a personal trainer, have my own personal training company. I dealt with people. Personal training is dealing with people, okay? I was a motivational speaker. I was a motivator, life coach, whatever you wanna call it. I did that for over 100 clients, okay? And some really big clients at that. So. In personal training, because we had to get personal, there's a lot of talking that goes on. I also had to coach you into feeling better about yourself. You know, I'll tell you a story about a, a guy named Izzy. Um, his son wanted to get his father a uh, personal training package to help him lose weight. Izzy had lost about 20 pounds on his own, but he wanted he, he was so feeling so good with those 20 pounds, he wanted to lose more weight. Now, I'll tell you about Izzy. Izzy was a six foot five Jewish pearl and diamond dealer from Queens. Very good guy, always had a smile on his face, but Izzy got divorced and let himself go to about 400 and something pounds. So I got with Izzy, I'm happy to be walking through the gym one day. Uh, his son sees me, says, I want that guy to train my dad. We link up, I meet his dad. Me and Izzy formed a great relationship. And when I met Izzy, Izzy was about 405 pounds. When I was done with Izzy, not even done with him, but just, after, I want to say two months, give or take, I think it was, off the top of my head, I might not be remembering correctly, Izzy was about 360, 350, okay, of good solid fat loss. Izzy actually got me a ton of clients because people saw how happy Izzy was, how Izzy moved, how Izzy was just, he's 60 something years old and he's loving life like he's got a new lease on life. I built Izzy's confidence up because he used to tell me how down he was when people called him fat. But then when he would go to family reunions and family functions and people didn't recognize him because he lost so much weight, Izzy lit up. So your confidence can be built, whether it be weight loss, whether it be you personally dealing with yourself. But I'm going to give you some tips in this video now how to build your confidence. Trust me, I know it's not for everybody. Some of us have a false sense of confidence, but to really have that self-confidence, there are steps you can take to build your confidence. So as a short list of just quick things you can do to build your confidence, I made a couple notes here in this. Short, this, is, this is basically a short list and we'll go into it. Then I have some more I can tell you about building your confidence. But also, as you know, I can't make this video too long to keep your attention span with me. So to help you boost confidence, a couple of quick tips. Stop comparing yourself, okay? Be the best you can be. So if you stop comparing yourself to other people, to your friends, to your family, you'll be the better version of you. The reason I say that is maybe you can't run as fast as your cousin. Maybe you don't have the nice hair as your brother or sister. You know, focus on you. So if you stop comparing yourself to other people, you'll focus on yourself so much that you'll be the best version of you. So that's number one. Stop comparing yourself. Number two, I say this all the time. I stress this to you all the time. Love yourself. No one can love you as much as you love yourself. I tell you this all the time. I repeat it a million times. In order to be happy, you have to be selfish. Love yourself. That's number two. Learn to accept compliments. Learn to accept compliments. 
a lot of people feel that snickering, being funny, side talk when someone compliments you. Sometimes someone's really complimenting you. Learn to accept it. Learn to take that compliment to boost yourself to say, you know what, I appreciate that. Let me move on to the next or let me keep going so I can get more compliments. So learn to accept compliments. Admire your strengths. Now, I believe this goes with accepting compliments. Admire what you do good. Whatever you do good, become the best at it. I can tell you right now, I'm not great at any one thing, but I'm good at a lot of things. So I made myself to where I was like, hey, you know what? There's not one thing I do pretty perfect. I do damn, you know, really good. But I made myself good at a lot of different things. If when it came to sports, I wasn't a natural athlete, but I made myself an athlete. I wasn't as fast as everybody, but I made myself just as fast, if not faster. I made myself just as strong, if not stronger. I was able to play multiple sports, made myself good in every sport. Wasn't the best, but I was damn good at every sport. When it came to instruments, I just had this conversation with a friend the other day. I played over five instruments, and I was good at every single instrument. So, be you, love yourself, and like I said, admire your strengths. If need be, as we did in personal training, track your accomplishments. Keep, keep notes. You should be setting goals anyway in life. Like I said, I don't plan a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff I freestyle, but that's because I'm confident in myself, so I know I'm going to achieve and succeed in whatever I do, because if I fail, that's only a lesson for success. That's what it is. Now, keep a track of your accomplishments because, you know, as you, as you set your goals, I always have goals, as you set your goals, keep track of how close you are or how far you are, but keep track of it. One thing I tell people, especially being an ex-personal trainer, um, go to the gym. When I worked out, it was for me. Yes, I looked good. I was eye candy, I guess, you know, but I wanted to look good for myself. Yes, I appreciate people saying, hey, man, you look good. The ladies saying, hey, you look good. Thank you. But I wanted to look good for me. I wanted to feel good about myself. So go to the gym. Sometimes it's just about you loving you again. And if you see yourself in the mirror, you think you're looking good, you'll feel good. Along with that, the reason there's so many mirrors in the gym, one, you can see yourself, but also you can focus on yourself. Tell yourself positive things every day. I pray every day and I also talk to myself every day. We'll get to that later. But tell yourself positive things. Give yourself that positive motivation before you walk out the door to your job or whatever you got going on. Always improve yourself. I say this all the time. I am constantly trying to outdo myself in everything I do. You guys say, hey man, you did great with that. You did great with that. Thank you. I'm very humbled by the support. Very humbled by the positivity and, and your appreciation. But I'm trying to outdo myself again and again. So always try to outdo yourself. I just said this a minute ago, but it's part of my list. Set goals and stick to them. Also keep track. Set goals and stick to them. The more you set goals, you'll be able to stick to them and keep focusing on the goals to improve yourself and to build your confidence up, okay? So real quick over that quick list, stop comparing yourself, love yourself, learn to accept compliments, admire your strengths, track your accomplishments, exercise in the gym or at home, tell yourself good things, always improve yourself, and set goals. These things are short, short reminders Short, a short list of how you can build your confidence. Stay tuned. I got a little more I'm going to go into. I'm not going to make this video too long. Welcome to Flip Flop. <laughs> What's good, friends and family? Mr. Flip Flop here, a.k.a. Mr. Red Cup. So as we wrap up this video, I want to give you some pointers on how you can also build your confidence. You got the quick tips recently. Now I'm going to go into how to help you build your confidence. If you stick to these, I'm almost sure you can help build yourself up. Now, I said this in the live, but I have to go over it for you guys. Visualize yourself as you want to be. Let's kind of go with setting goals, right? See yourself as you want to be, where you want to be, and do it. Get it done. Visualize yourself how you want to be, where you want to be, what you want to be, and get it done. Do something that scares you. A lot of people didn't understand when I said that in the live. A lot of stuff we don't do is because of fear. 
We don't take that step because of fear. We don't move on because of fear. I said it a million times. Sometimes I didn't do things because I just was like, ah, let me not. But then when I did them, I succeeded. We, we are sometimes afraid to fail, afraid of what other people we th may think may think about us or may think about our decision. Do what scares you. Sometimes you do those things and you'll see it wasn't no need to be scared in the first place. Set yourself up to win. Okay? Meet, that's also go with goals. Set yourself up to win. If you have a winning mentality, you will win. As you guys know, I get a lot of hate. A lot of people don't like me. But guess what? I don't care. This is the age of social media. We all know that anybody can be anybody, what they want to be, who they want to be on the internet. The slogan goes, the internet's undefeated. Well, guess what? I'm not a child of the internet. I'm just recently doing all this stuff, but I know where I'm from and how I grew up, you're accountable for your words and actions. So when people are trolling, people are talking ish, people are making videos, people are talking bad about me, behind my back, on video, whatever it is, I know, well, guess what? I'm confident, confident enough to know that when that person sees me, they won't say those things or do those things. So I'll rub it off my shoulder. Now, not a, talking about being a bully or being tough, it's just that I know my confidence scares them. So for me, I don't worry about it. Another step is care for yourself. I believe that's the ultimate right there. Care for yourself. Love, loving yourself, but also care for yourself. Take care of yourself. Maybe you need to buy that dress. Maybe you need to buy that coat, that jacket, whatever it is that you feel that you needed, maybe you need to buy it to just take care of yourself a little bit more. Make it sure you look good. Go to that salon, go to that barbershop. Care for yourself. Love yourself a little bit more and you'll see how your confidence builds up. Now, the last part of this video, and I will do more if you guys want, you guys can leave comments in the uh, comment section, any questions in the comment section, and we'll do a part two of this video if you guys want, want it. Now, I told you guys on the live, I actually looked it up and someone actually mentioned the thing that I do all the time. Talk to yourself, which will be part of the tips of telling yourself something good every day. Telling yourself something good, building yourself up. Talk to yourself. I have by myself meetings. By myself, me, myself, and I, we sit and talk to ourselves about the day, about what we could have done better, about how we could have been better. Maybe I had an argument with somebody. Well, how could I have handled that better? What words could I have used to not make it, fit, make, make, make it so bad or make it better? What how could I have done yesterday to have been better? How can I be better today? So for me, I'm always having conversations with myself to sit there and really analyze myself. I'm my biggest critic, and you should focus on your biggest critic. I'm my biggest critic, and I'm my biggest fan. That's how I keep my confidence so high. I know when I'm wrong, I tell myself I'm wrong. I know when I'm right, I tell myself I'm right. So talk to yourself, have those meetings by yourself. By your, I call them by myself meetings, and sit there and analyze yourself. Analyze inside, internally, and externally. Okay, so these are just some tips to build your confidence. As I said, I won't make the video too long. Keep you guys in. Ask the comments in the comments section. Make the comments, whatever you guys feel I missed out on as far as building confidence. Um, stay tuned. Like, share, subscribe. Appreciate all you guys. Stay confident. Stay healthy. Love yourself like no one else can love you. Mr. Flip Flop, I'm out. Welcome to Flip Flop.